Hello, 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 hello. Oh, wherever you are on this succulent planet called Earth, wherever you are, I hope you are having a sincere day, evening, night, wherever you're located. Today, my topic is spirit, just a blended topic, but I said many times if you come from other three leaf package and you're curious about blender, all right. I thank you for sticking around. Today, I'm going to be talking about the boids in the particle system. I've been using, I, I started with Blender 2.76, like I said many times, but I never really got into the particles. I have an idea what they're about. And sometimes I've used them, but the boid particle is something new to me. Here it is, Blender 3.0.0. And I never was aware of the board particle and what it was. When I went to, the board particle just basically is like when you want to make a mass scene of moving object. That's it. A bunch of zombies moving in one direction. Yeah, the board, you, you, you got it in one direction. Mass of a bunch of birds, a bunch of ants. Anything that's like the swarm, the board particle thing. It's basically dealing with swarming creatures, a horde of zombies, a colony of ants, bees, you know, honeybees, the bumble bumblebees, the, the safe kind of bees, uh, fish, a bunch of sharks in the ocean, anything that swarms. Boy, it's good for that. So I'm going to start right now, and I'm not going to use nothing sophisticated and fancy just simple things I'm going to stay with this cube and I'm going to add a few more things to get it set up I'm going to add the uh go to add I want to add an empty I like to use the uh, this sphere because this, this sphere is going to be my garden object so I just want to lift it up and I want to have two objects because I want to use the collection I don't want to use no simple object I want to make my um I bought a little bit more advanced. So I'm going to add an object, a mesh. I'm going to use my uh, my extra objects. I use a uh, twisted torus. Grab. I don't know why. And what else do I want to add? My mesh. I want to add a gear. A worm gear. Okay, that looks nice. G. Y. I want to give them two different colors. So I go down here to my materials. I guess I could just go to the shader, but I still have the materials. New. I'm only going to deal with the viewport. So I don't need to worry about the viewport color. Viewport display. I'll make it a greenish. For my uh, Twisted Taurus. I click new. You put display. I'll give it a bluish color. Okay. So now I want to put those things in a collection. New, new collection. I just call it objects. And when I make my collections, I like the upper. I like to have it all in caps, so I know it's a uh, a collection. I drop twisted into there. Can I drop twisted? Yes. All right, there. Worm gear. There. And I want to add one more thing because I'm going to show you something that's annoying about the board particle. So I'm going to add one more thing. Add mesh cylinder. Grab it on Y. Rotate it on X. 90 degrees. Degrees. Okay, that's good. And I want to scale it. Well, I want to leave. Uh, I'll scale it. Make it larger. It's a reason why. And I want to. I want to scale it on the Y. Oops. Scale on Y. It's a reason why I'm doing this. I'll let you all know later why. All right. I'm gonna go to edit mode. Object, edit mode, click on space, 
I want to delete the face X. Delete face. All right, that's good enough. I should do the other one. Other side. Click on it. X face. All right, so good. So for the board, it's good to have at least four objects. Let me write them down. My objects. With the, I'm gonna write the purpose of them. I'm gonna go back to object mode. Just the purpose of them. Right here. This is my controller. These two things here. Particle objects. And this thing right here is the emitter. And I even gave this a name, container. I'll tell you what, the, the container, that's the last part. All right, so those are my four. I did a controller object that I can move around, particle objects, emitter, and my container. All right, so now I can get rid of this. Zap. Hit in again. All right, let's get this set up. So first thing, we deal with that emitter. Click on emitter. I'm going to click on the particle symbol. And I, that's what the particle symbol is one thing that's easy. That's one easy symbol. And then the particle, more than two objects. So the particle thing, it got... The little dot and three objects around it. So I know that means particle. The other ones I have to be guessing for them. I know that particle by heart. Click on the plus sign. Here's my little particle. I'm going to call it just objects. Lowercase. Damn, that's that. Okay. My emissions, I don't want to do a lot. I say 50. Yeah, because like for the, um, for the board, it don't seem like it's good to have a thousand. A thousand. 50 good for me. I'll make my frame. I'm going to come down here. I want to make at least 500. End at 500. Lifetime 500. Because you're. And that's one more thing about the board. You want everything to stay there. You don't want them disappearing. I'll leave the frame, the, the star frame. I, used to, I was thinking about how to adjust that, but I'll leave it the same. I won't add nothing, no complexity to it. Now I go to the, my, my render part. Render as. I'm going to choose a collection. And my instance objects let's just test it out to make sure it's working okay it's working one more thing render i like to make my scale a little bit larger i like to see my stuff a little bit oh what's that oh, wait 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 something there. i don't want something in there i don't want that cylinder in here take the cylinder out Okay, let me do this again and see how I look. Okay, just those two things. Let me go back down here, click on my emitter. I'll make it a little bit larger. Let me see how I look. So I, you still need the emitter just to see how your things look. I mean, you still need the physics. You still, yeah, you still need the render part to adjust the size so that's not going nowhere. Now, the board is right here up in the physics. You know, in physics, it has Newtonian, which is used the most. Most of the videos on Udemy, YouTube, whatever, they stick with that Newtonian. Keyed, I know what keyed is. It's like if you want to have a dynamic looking text, the particle, the particles form text. That's what that key is. The particles form some type of object. I guess form a person. The person is invisible, but the particles jump around the, um, the invisible person and make the whole person. All right. And I'm going to use boards. And we know what floor it is. You know, for waters. 
the liquids, the liquor like stuff, honey, etc. I want to choose board, the new one, the one I think is the most important to me. Now let me click. Let me start it. See what happened. Okay, so it's working. That's how it should look. That's how it should look. It don't know where to go at. So we got we got to uh we got to start working on it. So now that's how the board should look. That's how it should work. Just like that. So we're in board. Now we have to come down. Now I'm gonna choose my movement. But before that, the most important one. Let me write this down. The most important thing on here is. Boyd Brain. Boyd Brain. I'll make it large. That's the most important part of it. Without messing with that, nothing will happen. So I'm going to say it again. You need Boyd Brain. That's the driving mechanism for it. You don't do that and you get that messed up, it ain't going to work at all. No. Delete. All right, so we got that out the way. So I have to go to Board Brain. And since I just now learned about it today, I only need to hold out of complexities. You know, when you, I do, I do separate and flock later. They're just the way you want your little, your, your, your little particles to be moving around. Uh, -uh. I want to keep it as simple as possible. So I click on Delete and Delete. It's empty. You click on the plus. Now, see, it got a lot of things on here. Gold, avoid, avoid collision, separate, flock. I want to choose, since I'm new to it, I just don't learn about this today, people. I want to choose follow leader. So when you first start off, you want to choose the simplest one. I can choose all other stuff later when I become well-versed at it. All right, I chose follow leader. So we come down and look. Now I want to choose my leader object. I wish I would have called it leader object. That would have been a good name for it. It just got an object. I click the eye dropper. Click on my empty. All right, so that's it. Let's hope that works. It say empty right here. So, um, so before we even start anything, I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna see what happened. But it's still see it's following slowly. You see that? That's the magic of it. I can stop right here. You see us following that. That's huge. Now, I told you brain void. I mean, void, void brain. That was a driving mechanism. Now, I'm going to show you the second part. The second most important part with this stuff that I've learned. I got to click on my, you may, you got to click on that emitter. Click on your emitter. Here's the second part right here. Let me, I'm gonna highlight this week so you so you can see them. I'm, I'm gonna write it out. The next important thing is number one. Uh, Boyd bring that's the star. I mean that's the straw that stirs the drink. That. Your next important one, where you're going to be working at the most is number two, movement. Everything else is like secondary. Void brain one, movement second, and after that, when you just begin it, that's good enough for me. Good enough for me. I'm good to go. So, now let's, so let's, let's start dealing with this void brain. I'm going to the movement part. Now, I discovered the day, I'm just going to get right to the point. I discovered the day, for me, the most important section is right here where it has, let me, I got I to gotta bring it out some more. The maximum angular velocity. Let me see. You. Yeah, I think that was it. I'm going to mess with that a little bit. I'm going to increase it. And let's see what happened. Let me move this. So you see how I look? It's some space between them. They're not all cl well, they still look cluttered up. So I'm not gonna adjust because I don't like to have them all cluttered up. I want to put some space between them little them artifacts. So let me stop it right here. Like I said I, I just don't learn how to do this stuff today. It was a third one. 
Let me touch the, the, the maximum air acceleration. Let me do that. Let me go. Let me let me jack that up a little. Well, oh, I know what I did. I, I brought these things down earlier. I brought them down, and I slowly magnified them. Let me do that. Let's see how I look now when I slowly bring them down. You see, when I slowly decrease those numbers, they're not all scattered all and jacked it all up. They still and and they following this thing with a lot more space. That was important to me. Lowering it. If you if you increase the intensity, they will be close to each other. See, they sort of spread out now. So, if I want to make it better, I can click on it, stop it. If you want to do that, so those are the most two things right here. Maximum air acceleration. I can jack that up some. And you can mess up maximum air speed. That's how fast it's going to travel in the air. I ain't worried about that too much. I just wanted them to follow my little gizmo right here. See? And they're following it. And they spaced apart. Nothing's all jumbled up and tight on each other. And I learned one more thing too. And you see, they actually, this is huge. All the years I've learned it, I never knew about this. All right. Let me see. Click back. Yeah, click back on your meta. One more thing I learned too is this air personal space. That's usually like how far it's away from the, um, the controlling mechanism. In this case, the empty. So let's see how that looks. Oh, the, the, oh, see, that, see, it says a lot more space. So, that, that, so the air space control how far, how how spread apart they are. So I like that too. See, this looks more chaotic and random. See, the thing I like about this, you can use this if you want to make an explosion and have your debris that's scattered all everywhere. You just can take this and just drag the uh, the debris that's go following all over the place. And you can see, you can increase the speed of it. You can increase the speed. Click back on this. Let me bring this uh, air space. So the air space control how far, sp how spread apart they are, which I like. Let me do that. Let me start it again. Let me grab that. So you see, uh, man, it's they sort of spread apart. See, I like that. And he's still following. See, and the thing I like about this, the boy... This is the first time that I'm actually seeing Blender using artificial intelligence. For this is art. I just I discovered that I did my research. The boy system is using you know it's infantile, but it's using artificial intelligence for this. So I like so that, that looks pretty good. Now I already made a better scene that I'm going to put on. Um, I made like an aquatic scene, but I just want to go over this real fast to give an idea how to use this stuff to explain it. When I make my aquatic scene, I'm just going to be saying uh, to put the boy thing into effect. Let me click back on this. I said the most important thing, let me increase the speed and see what happens. I'm going to take it up to 30. Let's see if it goes fast. Start again. Yeah, see, oh, 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 it's moving now. I increase the speed and it's moving. But they still spread apart. But they're moving a lot faster. And I like this. And if you don't like to spread, all you have to do is, uh, you always got to click on that in a minute, though. You can always come down here and choose your, your, your personal aspect. So I'm going to give it two temps. Let's see what happens when I make them close to each other. This should be close then. Start it. Yeah, let's see. Yes, they look a little bit closer now. Yes, they do look closer. But the two temps is not too bad either. But if I stop, well, they just see that they, they're going to jump up now. See, when I stop the two temps, they're starting to jump up. Mm -hmm. So, that's it, my good people. I didn't want to overwhelm you because there's a lot of switches and controls with that. I just want to get you to the basics. When you get more comfortable, from, you can be messing with, uh, let me see what, what, what everything can come up this. I click on my meta. When you get good at this, you know about movement now. Battle is, if you want to have a couple of them uh, emitters battle each other, 
You can have the um, the boys fighting. See, I said it's a little AI here. Battles, man. You can have them um, boys fighting against each other. Relations. I haven't done with that because every time I do it, it keeps showing invalid target. I got to learn about that. But I'm still new to it. I got to learn about evasions. And you know what the board bring. So it's just five things. Movement, we covered. Battle, I went over. And miscellaneous. And you know, that controls your banking, your pitch, and whatnot. You know, basically the rotation of it and the height and all that stuff. But you got the main thing. Board brain and movement. And you can start discovering everything else on your own. Thank you for stopping by. As you, like I love to say, people, if you're a beginner in Blender, always push forward. Forward. Don't get discouraged. Don't stop. Learn a little bit every day. You all see. I keep learning. I keep learning. I keep pushing forward. I have my, this is not my main occupation. It's more like a hobby for me, but a hobby that I love. Keep pushing. Never stop. Until the next time, 3D family. Oh, I forgot to show you one more thing, too. This is what I wanted to show you all before I go. I'm sorry about that. You see, when I hit this, how they keep popping out the Lord's device. If I'm making a scene, I don't want them to pop out the box. So I make this little pipe here in case I want to hide it. I'm going to bring it over here. That's why the pipe there for. Let me stop it again. Let me stop this. Let me hide these two. Hide. Oh, well. Let's see. I just can hide my, uh, my collection. Hide the collection. I'll put this here. To make it look more realistic. I'm going to scale it a little bit more. Let's click on it. Scale it. Not that much. That's going to drag it in. Let's see it. Control Y. I can get top view. Okay. Red Y. I just want to bring it in there a little. Alright. That's good. That's why I have this here. To make it seem like the uh, it's coming from somewhere. That's not popping out of the out of the thin air. I want to give it a little bit more realism. So now let's see what it's like now. See? Oh, and there's one more thing I want to do too. One more thing. I want to give it a physics because they may just go right through it. They may go right through it. So earlier, I went right down here to physics, and there's nothing hard. Nothing hard. All you have to do is click collision, and that was it. That was it. Now ain't gonna be going through the ain't gonna be going through the uh, the cylinder or nothing. Now when I play it, it should be coming out of the see. It's coming out. Uh, so I'm still coming through there. Oh. I chose collision for this, didn't I? Collision. Okay, that, that was on a different version of it, though. Now, anyway, when you got to, to make it, you can make the, a collision so it does not bump up. On this version of, uh, my, this version of Blender, it seemed like it is going right through the, uh, my cylinder. But that's all right. I can work on that later. But you all understand why I have it there. To make it look more believable, not just pop out the thin blue sky. See, for the most part, it's coming right through there. It ain't just popping out the thin blue sky anymore. Most of them. Most of them coming right from there. I grab it down. It looks believable. Like if it was a bunch of zombies busting through the door, I would have this outside the door. And the zombies come running through. When I make my aquatic scene, I might have a little pipe hanging off like this and the fish coming through there. It looks like they, it's coming from somewhere, not just from... Hocus Pocus magic. I don't like magic anymore. Now, I can say, till the next time, been the family, 3D family, peace.